silent now, we don't say a word We're just looking at each other Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's after Christmas cleaning motivation. I'm going to be bringing down all the Christmas decor. I did this actually the day after Christmas. I was so done with it because we've had it up for so long, about two months and I was just over it. It became really cluttered in there and I just was like so done. Let me know down in the comments when you bring down your Christmas decor because I'm not one of those people that likes to keep it way into January. I literally the day after Christmas I'm like okay all the lights outside, everything inside just needs to be done and put away and um, yeah so I literally start preparing for like valentine's day and uh, putting up just like new decor and stuff so i hope you guys are ready for some relaxing after christmas cleaning motivation i got a bunch of these clear bins from target they're so cheap there i think they're like usually on sale for like five dollars but they also range from like five to six fifty i think and i literally got like a bazillion of them this year and organizing everything like christmas stuff and i like the fact that they're um, clear so you can see kind of what you have in there and without having to spend a ton of money on bins because those can be super pricey so definitely check out target if you're looking for some new clear bins to be more organized our whole garage is basically full of these so it's super nice but yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, make sure you are subscribed. My name is Yelena and I do a lot of cleaning motivation, homemaking kind of videos here on YouTube. So definitely subscribe to my channel. I have two kiddos. One is almost six months and a two and a half year old. So you can kind of see him <laughs> in my videos. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started with today's after Christmas clean um, cleaning motivation. <laughs> Say a word, we're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said. Yeah, it kinda broke my heart. Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think. I'm trying my best to hold on, but I feel myself giving. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change who you are. You say it's always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry Say we're sorry Say we're sorry I guess that we should say we're sorry Start again, don't give up, we're holding on For what it's worth, I'll try to change We can't fix our broken hearts Loving me is not so goddamn easy as I think You try your best to hold up, but I see you're giving in You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't wanna change who you are you say it's always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't wanna change who you are Who you are Things you say is always a step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry Say we're sorry Say we're sorry I guess that we should say
so now that all the small decor and the ornaments are put away it's time to put away the christmas tree i usually do this last just because it's a lot easier when everything else is kind of done and put away and um I wanted to know you guys did you have a real or fake christmas tree this year because i'm really glad that i had a fake christmas tree this year because i feel like it's just so much easier and you don't have to clean up the mess i absolutely love how the real christmas trees smell but i'm kind of happy that we didn't have one this year because it's literally just non-stop vacuuming and cleaning and then afterward when you're trying to get it out of the house i just remember a couple of years ago when we had a real one what a mess that created so yeah let me know down in the comments if you had a real or fake one because i'm just so happy while like cleaning this and just watching this back that i did not have to clean up that big mess and drag the whole christmas tree through the whole house um but i definitely want to have a real one someday again with the kids once they get a little bit older and can help out with the cleaning i can try if you let me with our lives i am pleading who am i without stories that aren't mine what i did to achieve you gave me a thought i had to i'm untrue it's not pretty the truth hurts and you stayed on the ground while i was high yes you Now that all the Christmas decor is put away, I'm just wiping everything down with Lysol wipes. I love using Lysol wipes because it's just, I feel like it sanitizes everything so much better. And this area just gets like so dusty for some reason, especially with all the Christmas stuff up. It was like super dusty and we had family coming and going. So the door was constantly opening and closing. I feel like it just accumulates so much dust in the house. So the wipes are just a great Thing to have on hand if you just want to 
clean up and just kind of wipe down all the high touch areas that people like to touch um, which is always like in the living room or you know like doorknobs and stuff like that so I really love using Lysol wipes for all of that and just cleaning everything yeah making sure everything smells good and is dust free and then now I'm just on to taking down the rest of the small decor in the house, which is like in the kitchen and just our dining room, just all the little things. I'm somewhere in the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle, all the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes and I will never know. Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it So here I'm just wiping everything down with Lysol, the counters, and just taking all the crumbs away because I just feel like it accumulates so much, especially when you use your kitchen constantly during the holidays. I definitely found myself cleaning uh, like literally non-stop, especially in the kitchen, and the toaster was used a bunch by my family, so don't forget to clean out your toaster, you guys, because look how gross it gets. Like literally so many crumbs, and after a while it just piles up in there, so definitely don't forget to empty your like little toaster filter if you have one in your toaster. Now that the kitchen is clean, I love lighting some candles. This is one of my favorite 
um, parts to cleaning just because it makes everything so homey and smell amazing I just love how everything looks after taking down the Christmas decor it's not very cluttered at all I got these new soap dispensers from the dollar section at Target and I'm absolutely obsessed with them and it says dishes and hands on them I love the minimal like clean look so definitely recommending you checking those out at your local target because i just love them and just look so clean and now on to organizing the rest of the house which is always picking up my toddler's toys literally every second of the day i feel like i'm doing this um he just loves to throw them all over the house so I'm definitely doing this all like all day long and just picking up toys baby toys toddler toys all day and cleaning up the rest of the house so that's what i'm doing here you and me you and me we don't need no one else than each other you and me you and me we could run all right you guys i hope you enjoyed today's very relaxing after christmas clean with me i really hope it gave you a bunch of motivation to clean up after the new year i hope you guys have an amazing week and uh, amazing day and i uh, will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and got motivation and i'll see you guys next time bye guys thanks so much for watching